Good morning, Moss Warriors. Today is Monday, October 2nd, 2023, and today is National Custodial Workers Recognition Day. This day encourages appreciation to the employees who keep our schools and workplaces across the nation running smoothly. Custodial workers operate behind the scenes. They are often unappreciated for the hard work they do day after day. These are the personnel keeping schools, hospitals, office buildings, museums, churches, and other buildings clean and well-maintained. While delivering outstanding services and running a well-maintained building, they contribute to critical first impressions and the success of any business. They're the people we call on to give our brick and mortar businesses a polished look. The bank, schools, and office buildings look organized and presentable because custodial workers efficiently keep everything in top condition. The work is physically demanding. Depending on the position, custodial workers may work varying shifts and possibly in several locations. They may be part of a team or work independently. No matter where they work, this day recognizes their dedication and hard work. When you see Mr. Callahan and the after-school cleaning staff, say thank you for keeping the school nice and clean. Now will everybody please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Mossville Pledge. As a Mossville warrior, I pledge to do my best today and to be the best I can be. At Mossville School, I am respectful, responsible, and safe. This is the warrior way. This week in our Lions Quest program, we will focus on identifying and naming emotions. Our quote this week comes from Josh Groban. No matter who we are, no matter what our circumstances, our feelings and emotions are universal. Our emotions are what make us human and give us a way to connect with each other. The key is to recognize what we are feeling and have a vocabulary to describe and communicate our feelings accurately to others. This week, Let's pay attention to how you're feeling and notice how others may be feeling through their words and body language. Respond with kindness and understanding. You may get to know yourself better and make some new friends. Daily reminders, let's make sure to get to class on time. Bring your lunch card to the cafeteria each day and let's avoid zeros in the grade book. Get those assignments turned in and if you are absent, make sure you get those made up and turned in as soon as possible. We do not have any birthdays today, Congratulations to our attendance winner this week, Mrs. Ruland's class. We appreciate all of those students making an effort to get here all last week, and we look forward to another great week of attendance. Congratulations to our boys baseball team on a wonderful season. The team fought valiantly in the quarterfinal on Friday, but unfortunately were knocked out of the state playoffs. We appreciate all of the hard work of Coach Quine and the boys. Way to go, Warriors. Congratulations to the Cross Country Warriors for a great performance at the Limestone Rocket Invitational last Thursday. Congratulations to Ellie Grohusky for placing 7th in the varsity race and Alana Ferenkrug on her 13th place finish in the varsity race as well. The varsity girls placed 4th out of 17 teams. Congratulations to Brody Miller for his 22nd place finish in the boys varsity race. The boys varsity placed 10th of the 15 teams. Congratulations to Izzy Galbraith on a 13th place finish. Sophie Gorman on her 14th place finish, and Nora Strickler on her 16th place finish in the girls' open race. The girls' open runners placed third out of seven teams. The boys' open runners placed eighth out of 12 teams. Many season and personal best times were earned that evening. Congratulations to all those Warriors on a job well done. The French club started last week at Mossville. They had one participant, but that participant had a lot of fun. So this reminder, the first and third Tuesday of the month from 315 to 415 in the library, any 7th or 8th grader is invited to participate. Each week, you'll learn new words and create silly stories using those words as a guide. You'll act out stories, listen to French songs, watch videos, play games, try French roots, and much, much more. You don't need to attend every session, but the more you come, the more you learn, and the more fun it will be. If you'd like more information, feel free to scan the QR code. We hope to see everybody on that first and third Tuesday of the month. Smensels!
Then if it's the fifth grade field trip, you can have something to write with that smells good. It's a win-win for all of us. Only, Only three smensels per person. person. Cart comes around from 150 to 220 every Tuesday and Thursday. They're one dollar each. We have a wide variety of scents. Smensels. This day in history, on this day in 1902, Beatrix Potter's *The Tale of Peter Rabbit* is published by Frederick Warren and Company in London. Activities today: We've got cross country and boys basketball open gym after school, and girls basketball takes on Peoria Heights at 4:30. Good luck, Warriors! Hot lunch today. We've got popcorn chicken with pretzel rod, cheeseburger or sun butter and jelly. Our sides are steamed broccoli or baby carrots and mixed fruit. And remember, it's a great day to be a warrior.